such a hot day. God damn. Alright. Let's get to do some gaming. Hell yes. So freaking annoying. There's something that I was supposed to be doing today. I don't remember. I'm gonna piss off this game. Ugh. Oh! That's it. I was meant to be making a video, wasn't I? I forgot about that. But considering this is my first proper video, welcome to my channel. I'm JP, and today we'll be reacting to the Justice League Snyder Cut trailer. But not just that, also something else, there's a bit of a twist to it, which you'll find out at the end of the trailer. How you all doing? It's JP here for my first proper video. And as I said, yes, it will be the Snyder Cut reaction video. But as I also said, there's going to be a twist at the end. So let's get straight to it and watch this trailer. And obviously I'll be talking through it, pausing and saying my thoughts, whatever. Oh, okay, there you go. Alright. Alright. Straight off the bat, like, they went, they went straight in, because that's, they knew that's what everyone wanted, dark side. Hell yes. That looks badass, and also it looks really dark, so it's perfect for the, what's going on with DC at the moment. Other than Aquaman and Shazam, but the other films that look really dark, even like Suicide Squad, the trailer and whatever, looked really happy and bright, but the film was dark. I mean, even the enemy was dark. But let's keep going. Was a secret chord that David played, and it good choice of song. Lord, yeah, good choice of song, I would say, actually. I mean, I don't see how it kind of works with Justice League itself, hallelujah, but... Hello, you, Luya, there's someone to save us? I don't know. Let's go. You don't really care for music, do you? That was a lot of destruction. Like, they're, they're proper trying to get the attention of the audience, and they've succeeded. Damn. Yes, oh my god, the black Superman outfit. Everyone has wanted that. And to be honest, a while ago, it was teased a lot. And everyone was like, mm, is it real? Is it not? They didn't know if it was real or not. So yes, everyone will be happy about that. And I love one thing they've done. They've made it uh, like the original trailer. They've gone for a style where it's at each kind of beat to the song, it shows a new character, so I went from like Batman to Wonder Woman to Superman. Wait, no, I said that in the wrong order, but you get the point. Okay, I read a little bit about this trailer. I haven't seen it before, but I read it. Uh, this scene is a deleted scene, and there will be a lot more scenes with the flashing in the Snyder Cut. And I think, is it Aquaman? No, is it Wonder Woman? I don't know, another character, Cyborg, it's Cyborg. It'll be Cyborg and Flash scenes, a lot more of those. So if don't, people don't like these characters, stay tuned for this film because it's going to be badass. And sorry, I keep pausing it, but, you know, just want to say my thoughts. Also, um, I don't actually have like a proper computer or anything. So if the reason, another reason I keep pausing it is because if I talk whilst this is playing, it will... You won't hear me. Okay, that's Iris, like Iris West Allen, like um, from the TV show. If anyone's watched it or the comics, yeah, that's Iris. It wasn't much. I couldn't feel, so I tried to touch. I've told the truth. I didn't come. Oh. 
Okay, I'm not quite sure who that is. Like, if anyone knows, just say, like, put it in the comments. But that actually looked really badass. That kind of reminded me of the character from um, Ready Player One. That's what it reminded me of. The the, the boss of IOI uh, gets his items from him in, like, one of the realms or something. If you've seen Ready Player One, you'll know who I'm on about. That's what he looked like. But that was pretty cool. Okay, I can tell that's Steppenwolf already, but the design looks different, I can tell. But, wow, seeing a cyborg slash cyborg himself cry, like, he's mostly robot, but he still has the feelings like that. That, that hits hard, damn. But his father dying in the trailer, wow, jeez. This trailer's gone in hard, but I'm going to carry on, and let's see what he looks like, then I'll say my thoughts again. Damn. Okay, holy, he looks badass compared to the first film. Well, the other cut of the film. Like, look at that. I'm excited. Like I'm actually excited. There's a lot of other DC things I'm excited for as well. So like Suicide Squad game and film. Uh, Wonder Woman, you know. There's a lot. There's a lot. I can't name it all because there's actually quite a bit that people don't necessarily know about. Anyway, here is the twist. Um, I am going to now watch the first trailer for the, uh, like, the original trailer for the non-Snyder Cut. And compare it, see the differences, because like, yeah, let's just get straight to it. Alright, so now we are going to watch the trailer one. The first trailer for the, like, non-Snyder Cut, and so that, that that's that's a good point, because like, the Snyder Cut trailer is just the Snyder Cut trailer. There's no, there might not be an official trailer too, it might just be that. Uh, but this one is the first trailer, so it doesn't reveal as much as, like, trailer 2 for the original cut. Let's just go. Just from 32 seconds already. Uh, so we've got two minutes left. But the difference between trailers, because I said I'm doing a comparison. Um, it's not as... It doesn't hook the audience's attention as quick as the Snyder Cut. Like, 32 seconds where you see the mother box shaking and stuff. That's when people start to get interested. Yeah, you see Batman getting on a, ho on a horse. Wow. You, see one, uh, you hear Wonder Woman talking and he, he pretty much says he needs to... Form a group, but that's kind of obvious because there's no movies before Justice League where they all meet up and are a group. So it's kind of obvious that that's going to happen in this film, that they're going to all get together. So that doesn't need to play a big part in the trailer. And even if it did, not right at the beginning. Like, I think it's a good thing it's in the trailer, yes, but it shouldn't be right at the beginning. It should have been something that got your attention straight away. Like the flash in the last trailer when he was running and there was a blur going past him as if there was another speedster. Don't know if there will be, but oh, that'll be freaking awesome. But yeah, let's, let's just keep going. The others. Where are they? Arthur Curry. The Aquaman. It's on him. Organic and biomechatronic body parts. 
You should probably move. Barry Allen. Whoever you're looking for, it's not me. You're the Batman. See, this is what I mean. It's now got like captivating for the audience. It's drawing our attention in, and it's like for people that are not DC fans because it's trying to expand its audience, as you can see. But for people that ain't fans of DC or Marvel, you know, that what they're trying to do is uh, by saying the characters' names, saying like uh, cyborg. He's a cyborg. He's got robotic parts. You know, it, they're explaining uh, why the character ex is significant and like his abilities or her ability you know that that's what they're doing which is i think it was successful because a lot of people did go to see this film yes but it turned out to be not great i mean like i can enjoy it i can enjoy it but it doesn't mean it's a great movie you know i don't find it a great movie that the age of heroes will never come again has to See, the DC universe, as I said, is dark, but they do try to add a few cracks and a few jokes into it, especially in Shazam. That is a great film. Shazam and Aquaman, great movies. But this one is uh, very different. You don't really know who the enemy is from the trailer. You can only presume it's Darkseid because there is parademons from his world. Is it worlds? I think it's his world. Or something like that. Parademons from his world. And, you know, Darkseid's the leader of them. But as everyone knows now, it's Steppenwolf. But in the Snyder Cut, there's also Darkseid, which I'm so excited for. But yeah, you can't really get where it's going. Like, you can you can kind of tell. I mean, it's obvious. Justice League, enemy, they defeat it. That is obvious. But, like, Wonder Woman hit a guy, I think. And then the Flash is hitting parademons, you know? Like, there's no correlation between that. Like, why is he, she beating up a dude, a human dude, and he's beating up a demon, an alien, if you will? I can tell you this, you got to be free. Watch her. Come And there we have it. Maybe a little bit of a clip at the end, but I'm not going to watch that because that was pretty much the full trailer. Well, yeah, that does that, that does intrigue the audience, which is annoying about movies because, like, people usually watch trailers either to get a sneak peek at the film or so they can get an early opinion. People with early opinions, I do not like that. I really do not because uh, I, I know people that have been, like, you know, they've watched a trailer and just been like, oh, it's going to be a bad film. And then they see the film and they're like, oh my God, it's amazing. And I'm just like, see, this is why you don't judge things before you watch it. I mean, I know that's pretty much what I'm doing now, but I'm more doing a comparison video. But you guys thought it was a, not a comparison. But anyway, yeah, like, this is, they had some of the same clips, like uh, when the Justice League were lined up. Um, when Cyborg jumped in front of the car, some of the same clips, but not really many which shows that the new Justice League, when it comes out, or the Snyder Cut, it's going to have so much that this film did not have. And, oh, I cannot wait. I actually cannot wait. Uh, well, I hope you guys are excited, because I am. I uh, hope you guys are excited for the other things. Suicide Squad game, Suicide Squad movie, uh, uh, Gotham City PD, Police Department. Uh... There is others I can't think of. Right oh, Wonder Woman. <sighs> yeah, I can't think of any more right now. So I'm just going to end it here. But please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.